What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today. Within this video we're going to cover the recent post by Bungie regarding masterwork weapons and future changes coming to them, including easier ways of getting them, adding new stat bonuses and much more. Now the title to their post is called Masterworks and Modifications, so let me read you through what Bungie have stated. Since the release of Destiny 2's update 1.1.1.1, we've been monitoring player feedback concerning the masterworks. We'd like to give you a list of items that's on our list to address. We don't have any specific date for when these changes will take place, but we'd like to give you an insight as to what teams at Bungie are aiming to accomplish. Player acquisition. We're implementing a new mechanism that we can use to limit long dry spells in masterwork drops due to bad RNG. We will also be looking at adding some guaranteed sources of masterworks, but we are working on a broader plan to improve prestige activity rewards, and it might wait until then. We're watching overall drop rates and usage over the holiday and we'll adjust drop rates and material costs as needed. Masterwork Inventory Management We're planning a fix for masterwork cores not going to your postmaster if you're full on consumables. To help prevent accidental loss of masterwork cores, we're extending the dismantle timer to give players a larger window to stop the process. Stat bonuses. Right now the stat bonuses are small tweaks intended for players who want to optimize very deeply. We're watching feedback and are excited to adjust or add more stat bonuses in the future. Once we have more information, we'll share our plans with you. Additionally, the in-game UI currently doesn't have any good way to show all of the possible stat rolls. Here is a current list of stat bonuses that can roll per weapon type, which you guys can see on screen now. And then go on to talk about masterwork armor. We have begun plans to add masterworks to armors as well. The armor bonuses will be more modest than the orb generation on weapons, in part because you have five equipped at once, but at minimum we want to provide a much requested mechanism to change the armor stat type, which sounds pretty cool. They then go on to talk about weapon and armor mods. We don't have a firm ETA yet, but feedback on armor and weapon mods has been heard. At minimum, we're looking to ease inventory pressure, basically collapsing per slot or per class mods. But yes, that's basically all they say about mods. To be honest though, what they do mention about the masterworks, it sounds pretty great for sure. I actually love the idea of these masterwork weapons and future masterwork armors, but how they will incorporate armors into the game will be interesting to see. Also making them drop a little more often for me is a must. I have literally had three masterworks drop since they introduced them on December 12th. Now I will mention, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys will agree, for me, weapon mods just ain't in the right place at the moment. They seriously need to offer more. I want to be able to add a different perk so to speak to my origin story, I want to be able to add a different perk to my Uriel's gift, my better devils, my positive outlook, my main ingredient, my sins of the past and so forth. Yes the benefit of an extra stat roll which comes with masterwork versions is great, but it really is limited. When we first heard about weapon mods and even armor mods, we expected a lot more. Now it isn't too late, things as such could still be incorporated. May this be an example to you as what I actually mean though. Weapon mods now at the moment are really limited. Besides changing burns and adding attack values, there really isn't much you can do with them. What I'd like to see are along the lines of perk mods. So for instance, I could obtain a kill clip or a zen moment or moving target or rampage mod and apply it to my Uriel's gift. Apply these to weapons which don't have them. Replace its main perk or add it as an extra perk, either way, it's a system which would really allow us to optimise and customise our weapons in a way which we'd love. The system in place now is nothing if I would want it, it's limited boring and really a feature which does nothing to truly customise individual weapons. I'm pretty sure we can all agree on that. The mod system seriously needs an overhaul of ideas thrown into it by Bungie. And on that note guys, I am ending the video. Tell me down below within that comment section what you think about what we've covered in today's video. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, it really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.